cave that the old man of Wandering Mountain records the never-ending story. Now what? Hold your horses! I'm finding out! There will be a day when the writing stylus will start to act strangely, <laughs> making it increasingly difficult to record the never-ending story. This is a sign that the nasty is on the way. An evil force that first takes hold in young humans when they turn away from books and reading. To stop the last year, even temporarily, would require a special young human, a voracious reader of great imagination and extraordinary courage. <laughs> some snotty little kid with hair that looks like the rear end of a porcupine. Mr. Coriander? Mr. Coriander, don't you remember me? Bastion, Bastion Balthazar Bucks. Bastion? What in the world happened to you? It's sort of hard to explain. I see. Well, why so far from home? Not playing hooky from school, are we? N no, we moved. This is my new school. Unfortunately. I see. Well, you can stay here till the bell rings, but no longer. Don't want to be late on your first day. Treasure Island. I remember this from your store. Are the rest of these from there, too? Uh huh. The never ending story. That is strictly a reference book from now on. It must not be taken from the library under any circumstances. It keeps going. Well, of course it keeps going. Every move you make is part of your story. Remember that the next time you pick your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to get more inventory from the car. Remember. Late first day, pay, pay, pay. The nasties. One year after his second visit to Fantasia, Bastion's father finally found a woman he wanted to marry, a divorcee named Jane Baxter. Jane's house was more suited for a family of four, which for Bastion meant a new room, a new neighborhood, and worst of all, a new school. Honey, where's Nicole? Oh, she'll be right down. But maybe his dad was right, and it would all be worth it. All his life, Bastion wanted a sister or a brother to share his dreams and confide in his secrets. Now at last he would have one. Hey, kiddo. Come on, this is a family effort out here. Don't you want to be a part of all this? They're not my family, and this is not their house. Nicole, Dr. Dumont said this was going to take time, but you got to meet him halfway. Why bother? You'll only get divorced again. Nicole, this is gonna be different, I promise you. And just think, what a cool new brother you have. Yeah, real cool.
This is my mom's sewing room, you know. Oh, she loves sewing so much. I'm really surprised she's letting you use it. I know I wouldn't. You can have one if you want. I got plenty of them. What for? Crystals are so stupid. Like a crystal can really grant a wish or something. Please, spare me this new age garbage. Crystals aren't supposed to grant wishes. Only the Orin can do that. Orin? You can't tell this to anybody. Okay. The Orin is a necklace of the childlike empress, the ruler of all Fantasia. Please. I'm not making it up. It's all written in black and white. In what? A book? The never-ending story. And I'm listening to you like this is real. You are completely weird. So, you two getting into trouble yet? See, the bonding already. <laughs> around six. <laughs> you look handsome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, kids, let's get this show on the road. That was forceful. I'm being too harsh, aren't I? He needs more time. Take your time, Bastion. I can always write you a late note. Jane, you had it right the first time. I don't want him thinking I'm some kind of drill sergeant. Downstairs, look alive! Let's go! Yee-haw! I've been doing it since he was three. Bye. Bye. I'll be pulling the car out of the garage. You know, when you... Wait for Bastion. Jane, would you happen to have a comb or a brush? Honey, I think you should have thought of that before you put... No, I, I don't. But don't worry. You look perfectly... impressive. Really. Oh, my God. The new brother. Is he for real? Oh. No. <laughs> Nicole! Nicole! Wait! Where's Mendrew? Nicole, I gotta get this stuff out of my hair. I can't show you the bathroom right now. Oh my god!
What's up, little homie? Yo, what is it? Uh, I mean, yo, what it is? Can you guys show me where the men's room is? Uh, or at least tell me. Dog, should we tell him or show him? Uh, you know, I hate those two-part questions. Slip. Yeah, that's because you got a no-part brain. Oh, OK. You got it? This your first day here, Squirt? Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Ah. Well, I think it'd only be right we personally escort you to the men's room. Um, I can find it, you know, I mean, I really... So, you got a name? Bastion Balthazar Buck. Balthazar? <laughs> what kind of name is that? You a Viking or something? <laughs> Don't forget to flush, Balthazar. <laughs> Yo, Mr. John, what's up? How many times are you weasels gonna repeat the 12th grade? Till we break the record. Yeah, well, you ain't gonna make it. Principal said the next time he catches you down here, he'd have you all expelled. <laughs> Yo, chill. We're only down here on a field trip. We're checking the pipes for ecological Dude. violations yeah. and stuff. Come here! Open it. Come here! Balthazar! <laughs> yeah. Um, no, no, we didn't lock him in there. No. Mr. John, we were sent down here to look for him. That's the real deal. Just ask him. Just ask him. Can you really have them expelled? Oh, yeah. He kidnapped me and locked me in there to die! Hey, Mr. John, can't we discuss this? I'm gonna get you, Balthazar. still happening. around. Come and get your sweetskins. It's your favourite. Frog and lizard puree. Don't bother me now, wench. Can't you see I'm observing the night sky? Same as yesterday and the day before that. Two months of root rot, I finally get to sleep, and now this. <laughs> it serves you right for sticking your foot in other people's potions. If I was five feet taller, I'd show you a thing or two, young man. 
Bastion? Ingywalk? Welcome back, my boy. <laughs> Ingywalk. Sorry I wrecked your house. I must have taken a wrong turn. Somewhere. Ah, yes. Well, interworld travel is a very imprecise science. I wrote a paper on that very subject, didn't I? Yes, was... yes! All right! It doesn't look so bad. I can fix it. When I get my hands on that slippery weasel, I'm going to rock his world. Uh, yo! Maybe he's hiding in one of these books! Yo, Balthazar! <laughs> Did anybody check in there? Yeah, just a pile of junk. The never-ending story. Hmm. 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 Huh. I don't believe I've read that one. I must put it on my preferred reading list. You know what? Why don't you put learning to read on your preferred list first? Yo, why are you always dissing me, man? Why don't you look into the mirror and find out? <laughs> In order to escape the nasties, the nasties? Bastion rushed inside the nearest door of the school library. <sighs> the nasties. That's us. Now, how can something that's happening right now be in this book. Uh. It ain't possible! Slip, the leader of the nasties, exclaimed to the others, how can something that's happening right now be in this book? Yo, I just said that. <laughs> Yo, I just said that. Oh, that is so cool! Let me try, let me try. Okay. <clears throat> Um, the, 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 the print's too small. Oh, you know what it is? Your brain is too small. <laughs> oh. The print is fine. <laughs> Safe at last, among his tiny little friends, Bastion settled in front of the patched-up gnome hovel, oh. chewing on the last tiny morsels of a gnome-cooked meal mm. when he finished his account of what brought him back to Fantasia. Angiwook popped a fresh toothpick in his nearly toothless mouth, shook his onion-sized bald head and sighed to his human friend. That's quite a story, young man. These nasties sound downright nasty. You finished with your snake patties, dearie? Snake patties? Snake? Yeah, I'm finished. <laughs> Where exactly is the book now, Bastion? It is in a safe place, isn't it? Well, uh... It's safe, all right. <laughs> oh, I smell wood burning. <laughs> well, if Balthazar could make up anything he wanted to happen in Fantasia while he read this book, maybe we could make a few things happen to him while he's there. What are we waiting for? Let's get nasty! What if this? They said it was going to be sunny today. I think I'll take a rain check here. Oh, careful! Watch the leaves, will you? Oh. Hey, something's burning back here. Oh, no, it's me! Uh, quick, call the fire department. Call anybody. Get me some baking soda. I'm kindling! Oh, my leaves, my lovely ah, leaves. Get away! 
Boy, Why don't leave me alone. Why don't I'm prematurely bald. You gotta help me, kid. Huh? I need a wing. What about horse? Um. Nest. Get in his nest. No way. No. Man. What can I do? Ain't nothing you can do now, Balthazar. I am the king, and you are my slave. The nasties must have the never-ending story. They're the ones making all this stuff happen. Well, go back and stop them before they destroy everything. How can I? I can't get back without the book. There is one other means of interworld transportation, the Orin. The Empress has the Orin in the Ivory Tower. Onward to Silver City. <laughs> this is positively, uh, absolutely, the last time I'm flying. Thalcor! Huh? Bastion? Is that you? Thalcor, land! Land? I can't land down there. I need a runway. Come on, you can land anyway. You're a luck dragon. A luck dragon, huh? If I was a luck dragon, I'd be halfway to Vegas by now. It's not a dragon. It's an overgrown pink poodle. Oh, no, I'm losing altitude. Look out below. In my snout. Falcon, you did great. Uh, yeah, am I still in one piece? We need a ride to Silver City to see the Empress. Not with me. I just came from there. Everyone's acting crazy there, too. What about the Ivory Tower? Did the Nasty reach there, too? Yes, they did. And the Empress? Well, I heard she escaped to the Wandering Mountains. That's where we need to go. Oh, well, wait, that's just what I heard. It could be just a rumor. Oh, this is no weather for mountain flying. We'll have to chance it, you pink wimp. Bastion uh... needs the power of the Orin to get him back to the human world so he can stop this thing before it ruins us all. Hurry up, let's go, come on. With my root rot, I'm walking. Come on, Barky! All right, all right. I'm sitting in the middle. You are not getting me up in the air in that thing. Not a chance! Hang on, Barky, hang on. Hang on? Hang on to what? There's no handles, no seatbelts, no inside catering, and I'm getting a stiff neck from the draft. I told you we should have won! Enjoy the view. Well, you want to know what's next, Bastion? First, we're going to take over the Wandering Mountains, and then the Hidden Crystal Cave, and then there'll be no place for you and your little freaky friends to hide. Someone's coming! Oh, slip! Like, should we clean up first? No. Leave it for that no skull oh, okay. janitor. Right. No, I'm sorry. Ask you when we. Bastion bounce. Shush, will you? Oh, I hate bugs. Go away! Rocket, my heart out of stone. I'm high like a mountain and I love rock and roll. Junior, I said no more rocks before lunch. Now come on. <laughs> Did someone see rocks before lunch? <laughs> no. Honeykins, would you mind going over to Wandering Mountains and breaking off about a half a ton of limestone for me? For you, Honeykins, anything. Oh, Fuck! <laughs> Still turn my lips to larva. <laughs> Go on now. <laughs> 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 
people. And don't forget the sedimentary sauce. I won't. Junior, Junior. Junior the Bucky. <laughs> Darda, we come to pick on the pick on. Junior, climb aboard. Strong like your Darda. Darda. Me. You can do it. <laughs> let's roll. <laughs> okay, Junior, let's go shopping. Yay, yay, yay. Get your motor running. Get out of the highway. Looking for adventure. And whatever comes our way. Yeah, darling, all the make it happen. Take the world and the love on grace. Fire all of the guns at once and explode into space. Alex make a lightning. Have him out of thunder. Racing with the wind. Look, dar, dar, and the feeling that I'm under. <gasps> yeah, darling, all the make it happen. Take the world. Fire all of the guns at once and explode into space Like a true nature's child We love all, wanna be wild We can climb so high I never wanna die Visitor! 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 Harry, open the door! In peace! Come in! In peace! What an honor! What an honor! It's so nice to have come to This isn't a social call, old man. A terrible plague has overrun the Silver City. I was driven out of the ivory tower by a force so powerful, even the Orin was unable to stop it. Fortunately, I was able to butt us through to the secret tunnels for our escape. Well, that's using your head. <laughs> it's no time for cheap head jokes. We must do something. What does the Great Book say? Uh, this evil force is known as the Nasty and comes from the human world. The human world? So that's why Orin has no effect on it. But how's it controlling Fantasia? Alas, I'm afraid the Nasty humans now possess the never-ending story. Yeah, well, get out of here then, man. It's five bucks. <laughs> I shall use the powers of the Orin to wish you there at once. No, uh, 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 hold it, hold it. Mm. Um, uh, uh, um. My dear Royal Empress of all that is wonderful and imaginative, what you need is a special young human, a voracious reader of great imagination and extraordinary courage. That is what it says in the great book. Here. Yeah. I shall call on the Orin. Oh, great Orin, bring me the human hero who will save Fantasia from the nasty. Bastion. Oh, show some respect, will you? It's freezing in here, but it's a lot safer. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh those stalactites are screwed in tight. <sighs> Oh, oh, my beloved Empress. I was so worried I caught the first available flight. Shh, shh, quiet. Empress, how are you? Not well, but the Orin has brought me a hero to save Fantasia. Excuse me, Your Royal Highness. May I make a humble little interjection here? Quiet, gnome, there's no time. The nasty's on his way here. Soon we can be at each other's throats. Good. Why not start now? Stop. We must not give in to the nasty. Let the gnome speak. 
This better be good. Bastion's heart is strong, but he's not exactly Arnold Schwarzenegger in the muscle department, is he? No. Shut up. The Orin can provide the transport, but when he gets back to the human world, how's he going to get the book away from these thugs? The gnome is right. Told you. You will take the Orin with you. You shall wish yourself back to the human world. Then use the power of the Orin to return the book to the safe hands of the Keeper. But you must only use it to stop the nasty. Then you must return it to me. Back, 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 back. Get back. Give the boy wishing room. Here goes. Want to travel back to another world, Bastion? You'll have to wish harder than that. I can't. If the kid wishes any harder, he'll break his wishbone. Hey, don't go too far, Junior. <laughs> ah, come on. What's the big deal here? Time for me to lend the kid a helping branch. Uh -oh. Here, grab a twig. Come on, grab his ear, Bastion. Oh, Bastion! Hi, Dada. Uh, Junior, come back. Oh, Me too. Oh, 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 don't worry, my tasty little toadstool. We're safe. You see, we and the others weren't making physical contact. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> your body's gone. Well, your body went years ago. What the? <laughs> <laughs> No, this must not happen. Fantasians, come back! They're lost, old man. Help me. What do I do? Oh, Empress, I'm a mere chronicler. What can I do? Bastion, can you hear me? I have something of great importance to tell you. The book. Hereby wish the never running story would leave the nasties and return right here to this. No, Bastion, stop! Empress? Bastion, the Fantasians who helped you got caught in a wish overload and are there with you in the human world. But you must not use the powers of Orin to stop the nasty. Why not? Because the new Fantasia that follows will be different. It won't include them. It's my imagination. I'll just make sure they're in the new Fantasia. No, Bastion. You must find them. Bring them all together and bring them back to Fantasia before you return the book to the Keeper. Or they will be lost forever. Okay. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss the old school. What else is new? You've been missing school for the past five years. Yo, check this out. All his life, Bastion wanted a sister or brother to share his dreams and secrets. Now at last he would have one. Only problem is he's stuck in Fantasia. Maybe we'll let him send her a postcard. Oh, sorry. He's back. What? Let him. We didn't do nothing. He's the one that stole the book. It says so right in the never-ending story. Wow! Something tells me I'm not in Fantasia anymore. Doesn't seem to be anybody else around up here. Hope I'm not the only flying creature in these parts. 
Oh, pardon me, ma'am. May I talk to you for a second? I'm a little lost. Hey, where am I? Last time I'm making any wishes. Where is that kid? Uh, pardon me, ladies. Have any of you seen a human about a root and a half tall goes by the name of Bastion Butts? Hmm? Ah, don't worry, lady. I'm not gonna steal your pine cones. Uh, what is this place? Hey. Uh, balsam, hemlock, fir, oak, aspen, maple, even. Ooh, look at the bark formation on that one. What I've never seen anything like it. What is this? A Greenpeace convention? <laughs> <laughs> Chainsaw Massacre! You want to talk? I can't. I'm busy right now. Any um, problems with the new school? Making any friends? I'm fine, okay? Okay. It's just that... Um, sometimes it helps to get things off your chest. This is all new to you. And it's going to be tough for a while. So there's nothing to no. go on it. Dad? Yeah? Everything sucks. Okay? Okay. You've got to find me. I could never find you. The world's too big for a kid without a trapper's license. Who are you talking to? Uh, no one. I was singing a song. It's country and western. 
My mom and your dad think you have gone bonkers. They're talking about having you committed to a mental institution. Oh well, at least my mom will get her sewing room back. Oh, very funny. Oh, where'd you get this? The Empress? Can't believe you actually expect people to believe all this stuff. I don't care what they believe. I don't get it. Why don't you just show us something from this Fantasia place of yours? I can't. I wish I could. But I can't. Fine. Have it your way. Bastion sadly clutched the Orin. Unable to make the one wish that would set things right in Fantasia and allow him to get on with his own life. In the human world. Bastion returned to his telescope, hoping against hope for some sign of his Fantasian friends. As the night wore on, his eyes grew heavier and heavier until he fell gently off to sleep. Because <sighs> now I am going to rock his life in the human world. I'll make sure he never gets a sister. <laughs> I like that. Um, Chief. You think maybe we should get our hands on that chloron thing first? It's Oren. You moron! But maybe you have a point there. If those Fantasians can show up any minute now, before we even get a chance to read about it, this book could go flying right out of our hands. Might slip. Not steal the necklace. And then we get the book. Permanent control over Balthazar's story. Falcor! Look! Fantasia! Oh, I don't think so, but let's go check it out. Uh -uh. some cute dragons here.
Well, genius, got any ideas where we are? Oh, yes. It's definitely the human world. The weather is so unpredictable. You see, there's this gigantic hole. Yes, and it's right in the middle of your face. Now, why don't you shut it? Shush! Oh, it's slippery. Come on. You're breathing rather heavily, my dear. Federal Express. There is one teensy problem, uh -huh. my little squashed kumquat. Yeah, we appear to be right. several thousand miles from Bastian's right? house. Oh, you knit so he's knit with. No, no, no. I can invent a small flying machine, <laughs> but it may take me some time. Oh. oh. <sighs> Good evening. Evening, Mr. McKenzie. When will it arrive? Uh, tomorrow <sighs> afternoon. Come on, get inside. We'll change the label to Bastian's address when the coast is clear. Well, I hope we get some advantage, Miles, for this. The nasty could be at Wandering Mountain already. If it gets to the Empress, it's all over for Fantasia. Fly faster, Falcor. Oh, yeah, easy for you to say. My back is killing me. All right, let's head to my house. I'll stay there with Junior, and you keep searching. Oh, all right. beginning to worry about you and Junior with all this nasty weather. Uh, where is Junior? Well, he's... <sighs> Where's Junior? Well, he... Uh... Well, where's the rest of him? He's in the human world. That's better. Bye, bye. With luck, you'll find them by morning. Come on. Seep, seep. Oh, why is it always me? You'll sleep in here. Nobody will notice you. Tired now. Mm. Okay, right here. And don't come out for any reason whatsoever. Kissy kiss. <sighs> Good night. Mama. <laughs> Junior, my baby. <laughs> I am the bastard! Stop it! No, oh, you No! no. Stop it! No! Stop it! why you're running all those machines? I just came down for a late night snack, and then I decided to sort of test to make sure everything in the kitchen was in working order. At one o'clock in the morning? Good work, Bastion. Yes, always good to do this sort of thing during low usage hours, very cost conscious of you. Gee, neat necklace. Thanks. Where'd you get that? Uh, a pawn shop. A pawn shop? Barney, Don't stay up too late, Pastor, okay? Seepy seep with Bastion. 
No, you can't see see with Bastion. Oh. Please. Okay, but keep it quiet. Oh. Is this possible? I happy. Come on, Jenny, keep it close. I'm not tired. But I'm not tired. Red one, me like blue one. Mm. Oh, oh. Can I come in? Come in? No, we can't. Can I come in? No, I'm getting dressed. Come in. Okay, come on in. I know, I look fine. Oh. I didn't say anything. Don't be so paranoid. What are you looking for? Nothing. Kids, come on, let's go. Hee ya! Coming. Hee ya! Hee ya! Go to school now, okay? <gasps> Me come too, Bastion. <laughs> right, like I don't have enough problems there already. Now you look out that window. When you see the car leave. You go down to where I took the seep seep. And you wait for me until I get back. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> Do again. Again? Yeah. God, it's like just on the sidewalk. <laughs> uh, nice, Bastion. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. trouble when he's with you? What? Would you rather he lay around the cave all day helping you with those mud cakes? And what's wrong with my mud cakes? Well, now that you mention it, after 2,000 years of marriage, they still taste like hockey pucks. Hockey pucks? <laughs> 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 Get you for this. Yeah. Yeah. 
We're supposed to be expelled, remember? <sighs> Let's wait till the three o'clock bell so we can take him outside without no one noticing. Nicole! Rachel! Guys! Hi. You want to go to the mall after school? My mom's driving. Cool, we're in. No way. I'm like so broke. So am I. And that's why I carry plastic. You'll find this at the principal's office, young lady. But that's my mom's And if we don't get to our homeroom, we'll find ourselves at the principal's office as well. Nicole, what have we there? Nothing. Hand it over. I can't. It doesn't even belong to me. That's all the more reason. Let's see it. I wish you would just... Yes? We were saying... We wish... I wish... We wish... What? I wish... You would just leave me alone. Leave all of us alone and stop breathing your camel breath on us. And go back to your cage where you belong. Class, I must leave you all now. My cage needs tidying. you were broke. Well, I don't need any money. Oh, how nice. Your mother finally got you a charge card? Which one? All of them. <laughs> okay. Balthazar. Lay it on me. Lay what on you? No games, Balthazar. Let's see the gold. I don't have it. Frisk him. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where'd you hide it? I didn't hide it. Hmm. You want to make things a little harder on us? Okay. We're going to make things a lot harder for you. We'll just go check the book, find out where the necklace is, and when we get it, you can kiss your whole new little family goodbye. Oh. <laughs> this thing. That's okay. I'll take care of him. Him? Uh, yeah. Um, haven't you read, you know, uh, The Secret Life of Plants? Trees are people, too. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, between you and me, this one looks like you'd be better off in a wood chipper. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Hey, 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 hey. <gasps> oh! Have a nice trip. <laughs> what are you looking at? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I made it. Uh, Some place you got here, this human world. How'd you find me? Uh, I let my branches do the walking. Good thing there's only one bucks in the phone book, else I'd be walking all day. Oh, no, not that pile of rocks again. <laughs> Just what I need. Now we go home. Oh, ow, now get off the roots. Oh, they're Stay killing with me. Junior. Oh, oh, shh. Ow, we go home. Hey, Jesse, stop it. Stop it. Hey, you're the... oh, there's 
Mr. Box lives here? Yes. Great. Thank you. Can you please sign here? Sure. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Huh. The name things handle with care. <laughs> Gotta go. No! We, we got, got to, to go! go. <laughs> Do you see what I see? Oh. Hey, that's it! If anybody says anything to you, just say trick or treat. Twinkle? Sweet? Don't put words in my knuckle. I'm 300 years older than you. Yeah, well, you want to end up in a botanical garden? Mm -hmm. <gasps> we call tweets. Okay. Trick or treat. Tweets so or tweets. Ew, that's so gross. My costume's real. Where'd you get yours? In Kmart? Ooh, yeah, yeah, but she looks like leaf mold. Leaf mold. Yeah. This is the way you humans amuse me. Spice, spice. Take me back. Tweet. <laughs> what a tweet! Okay, come on, guys. Balthazar sister's right upstairs. <laughs> I really wish I had this dress. You look just stunning in that. Darling, it's yours. Could you wrap it up in, like, big fluffy bows? Fluffy bows? Oh, gosh, I don't know. We're awfully busy. Oh, I really wish you would. Red? Or blue? Mm -hmm. Red. Oh, look, they're having a sale in the garden department. There's no time for shopping. Let's split up. If you guys find Nicole, we will be right back here watching. Oh, great. Leaves me with a mini landslide. We go see toys! Yeah, 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 yeah. Just don't expect me to change your diet. Hey, I've been empress. It never occurred to me to go shopping with the Orin. Well, that's because you serve a higher purpose by empress. Oh. Okay, guys, here's where we spread out and get the gold. I am. Let's see a smile here. What do you see? Come on. Next! Me! Oh. 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 It was my turn! Twinkle or tweet! Twinkle Are you going to return that book? Mr. Coriander, have you seen my sister? I wasn't aware you had a sister. I don't. I mean, 
Not a real one. But look, I gotta find her before... The nasties do! Go down with it. I really hope you enjoyed your little shopping spree. <laughs> oh, Nicole. Now I'll be telling the story forever, Balthazar. Yo, Empress! Check it out, Wilma. I'm the new keeper of the book. My name is not Wilma. Oh. Yo, Larger, what's up? <laughs> uh, and, um, old man, you got more company coming. <laughs> then Bastion has failed, and the Fantasia that we know will be a thing of the past. He's out of luck. <laughs> Stay with me, Jane. Where is... There they are! There they are! Bastion! Why did you tell me you were coming here? It's like Armageddon out there. How many times do I have to tell you to let me know where you're going? Nicole, look at you. Nicole! Did you take your stuff now, please? Where did you get all the money for all of this? They gave it to me? They gave this to you? Nicole, sweetie, I don't quite understand. The stores just decide to give Nicole half their inventory? I want the truth, young lady, and I want it now. I wished for it. What? Barney, just give her a chance to explain. Don't tell me what to do, Jane. See? I know this would happen. You come back here this second, young lady. Dad! The nasty is controlling you. Don't give in to the darkness. Come on! This is so no, cool! No, vile creatures! Let me you blow down me! But Empress, you said no cheap head jokes. Oh. So sue me! Ha! Huh. Honeykins, can you come in here? I want it now. Is that the best you can do? My dad are in each other's throats. I don't care. You have to care. They're our parents. We're a family. No, we're not. It's better this way. Better to do it now. 
Do what now? Let them fight and get divorced. My parents used to fight all the time. First my dad would start yelling at me. And then they'd yell at each other. Don't you see? It's all happening again! It's not! It's the nasty! We have to stop it! You can't stop it! I tried. No matter what I did, it didn't stop. They still got divorced. This is my story, and I'm not gonna let it happen. Bastion! Bastion! Are you okay? Uh, what happened? I thought you were electrocuted. That scared me. Bastion, I'm gonna help you get the Orn back. Why should you help? At least this way your mom will get a stupid sewing room back. Bastion. What? I look too un for you? Stop it! Unsophisticated, uncool? I'm sick of it. You're a smart little brat. Stop it. It's a nasty that's doing this. It's not you. You would never act this way. Don't you understand? You're too nice. Oh, yeah. I want it to be your room. I'm sorry for all the mean things I ever said to you. I want you to be my brother. You really do want me for a brother? Yes. I just didn't want to get hurt again. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, yeah, I miss Fantasia too. So do we! Right, right, already. We'll go back to the toy department. Hold your boulders, will you? Ooh. Bark Trolls Branch pushes the dumpster aside, and then they step inside Excuse the nasty's hideout. And Bark Troll exclaims, Oh, oh no, no, it's an it's ambush! An ambush. Oh. Hands off! Hey, don't touch the bark! I'm 300 years old. Show some respect. Kissy kiss! Oh. 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 My Empress, don't give in to the last day! Empress, help me! This is where we lost them. They're not here now. I was six feet taller. I pulverize you. You hear that? I did. Don't. Balthazar. Ooh, what took you so long? You know, I've been reading all about your mommy and your daddy. It looks like things are getting a little nasty over at the Bucks residence. You made it that way! No. You did! And you too! Don't go blaming it on me. I didn't put those words into your parents' mouths. They said it themselves. Don't you care about anything? <laughs> yes. You have to live in the human world after all this, too. You destroy everything. It'll be bad for you, and you, and everybody. He's right, Chief. Give him the necklace back. I don't want nothing bad happen to my mother. You want to know something? Something bad already happened to your mother. What? You! Oh, I got the orange! I got the orange! What? What are you doing? I wish! Nicole, the book. Big man, Balthazar. When you got the necklace. Put it down. Put it down. Then we'll see what a big man you are. In front of your sister! Don't do it. You got the arm, Bastion. You can turn him into a duck. <laughs> Bastion, place the necklace down. Then went to practice all those years of karate lessons. Karate, karate lessons. lessons. <laughs> uh, karate. Lessons, y'all slip, bursting with laughter. Nicole, what are you doing? You only took two lessons. Bastion starts circling, waiting for his moment to attack. I'm sorry, that's what it says. Heck with what the book says. Careful, Bastion. 
All at once, it was as if Bastion was transformed into a deadly combination of Bruce Lee, Steven Seagal, and Jean-Claude Van Damme. Don't worry, Chief, it's just a block. Bastion blocks Slip's attack, and counters with a karate chop, and then kicks him away. Show him! Come on! Bastion turns from Slip and performs a miraculous flying kick to dog. Falcor! They see Falcor and run for their lives. Get off! Get off! We go home now. Oh my god. What? Oh no. What now, huh? Meanwhile, back at Jane's house, Barney and Jane's short honeymoon had turned into a living nightmare. After only one week of marriage, Barney decided to call it quits. Let me see that. And over in the Rock Tour's dwelling, things were just as bad. Oh, Dada? From now on, woman. I'm going to be a rolling stone! Fine with me, <laughs> fool! Oh no. They've taken my story into the future. All this stuff's already happened. Don't come back! Don't worry, I won't. No, Dada! No, leave Mama! No, must be dreaming. No, Daddy, don't go! Nicole? Nicole, Falkor's here now. We have to wish the Fantasians back before we get rid of the nasties. Uh, I'm gonna miss you, kid. Bye-bye, Barky. I'll miss you. You too, Falkor. Bye, Bastion. Oh. Yes, you too, Junior. Oh. Bye, Bastion. I go home now. All right. Everybody get in wish position. Good luck, lad. I wish small. I got new leaves. I got a new lease of life. Bye bye, Bucky. Uh, uh, oh, look. Uh, there's your daddy. Oh, go kiss him. Nicole, you know my girlfriend, Marsha? I do. 
Sure you do. You kids better run along. We mustn't be late for our classes. Oh, heavens no. Oh, gosh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bye. See you later. Bye. Well, sis, how'd you like the ending? You did that? <laughs> yeah. This is my favorite part of the story. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>